probably know Erica Ellenake from amazing shows such as The Beverly Hillabillies, Baywatch, and the rest. But do you know of the crazy decisions that almost destroyed her life that she had to make to get to show on our screens? In this video, we'll share some untold stories about the life of Erica Ellenike while showing you some of her rare photos. Born on September 29, 1969, in Glendale, California, Erica Eleniak's life has always been full of captivating adventures. From a young age, Erica displayed her curious and adventurous spirit. Whether through her passion for dance classes or her enthusiasm for sports, she constantly sought to explore the world around her. At the tender age of 10, Erica's radiant beauty and porcelain skin caught the attention of photographers, propelling her into the world of child modeling. However, it was not merely her appearance that captivated others. Her infectious smile and the sparkle in her eye set her apart. Supported by her family, Erica ventured into acting and honed her skills through dedicated classes. The stage became her sanctuary, allowing her to immerse herself in the enchantment of make-believe and share her remarkable talent with the world. After years of hard work and dedication, Erica's big break came in 1982 when she landed the role of the girl in Steven Spielberg's iconic film, E.T., The Extraterrestrial. At the tender age of 12, she portrayed the girl kissed by Elliot in the memorable classroom scene. Her on-screen partner, Henry Thomas, who played Elliot, later shared in an interview that filming the kiss scene with Erica required multiple takes, which proved to be quite a challenge for him. She may have had a minor role, but it was a significant start to her career. The film went on to become one of the highest grossing movies of all time and solidified Erica's spot in Hollywood. Interestingly, Erica snagged the role after being spotted by a talent scout while performing at a showcase at the Debbie Reynolds acting studio. It was truly serendipitous and little did she know that this would be the beginning of her journey to stardom. After her debut in E.T., Erica made numerous guest appearances on popular TV shows such as Silver Spoons and Still the Beaver. However, her next substantial role would be in the remake of The Blob, where she portrayed Vicky DeSoto, one of the victims of the titular Blob. This role served as a testament to Erica's versatility and her ability to excel in more challenging genres. In 1989, Erica's career entered a new era as she landed a recurring role in the popular TV series Charles in Charge as Charles's girlfriend, Stephanie Curtis. This same year, she also joined the cast of Baywatch as Shawnee McLean, a lifeguard and one of the leads of the show. Erica's time on Baywatch catapulted her into the spotlight, making her a household name and solidifying her status as a sex symbol. But Erica's career didn't just revolve around acting. She also made headlines in 1989 when she posed for a pictorial in Playboy magazine. The nautical-themed spread showcased her natural beauty, confidence, and undeniable allure, making her one of the most sought-after models of the time. This bold move not only solidified her status as a sex symbol, but also gave her more freedom to explore different roles in the entertainment industry. While Erica Eleniak was making waves in the entertainment industry, she also captured the hearts of many admirers. Her stunning beauty and undeniable talent made her a standout in Hollywood. Erica's first high-profile relationship was with her Baywatch co-star Billy Warlock, with whom she shared a passionate romance that lasted for a few years. The two were often seen together at red carpet events, and their sizzling chemistry made them one of the hottest couples in Hollywood at the time. After four seasons on Baywatch, Erica Eleniak left the show in 1992 to pursue her dream of having a serious acting career. In an interview, she shared that she was uncomfortable with the direction the show was going and wanted to focus on more challenging roles. This decision proved to be a wise one, as she continued to land significant roles in film and television. After leaving Baywatch, Erica Eleniak's career took a dramatic turn 
when she landed her breakout role in the 1992 film Under Siege. The action thriller was directed by Andrew Davis and starred Steven Siegel, Tommy Lee Jones, and Gary Busey. The movie tells the story of a former Navy SEAL who must stop a group of terrorists from taking over a battleship armed with nuclear missiles. In the film, Erica played the role of Jordan Tate, a playboy model hired by the villains to distract the crew while they plot their takeover. Her character's confidence and seductive charm make her a standout in the movie and ultimately help her survive after being taken hostage by the terrorists. Under Siege was a huge success, grossing $156.6 million at the box office on a $35 million budget. It not only solidified Erica's status as a successful actress, but also opened up opportunities for her to explore more diverse roles in the industry. Many have questioned if Erica landed the role due to her rumored relationship with Steven Seagal. In an interview, Pamela Anderson, who was also considered for the part, claimed that she lost out on the role for refusing to give in to Seagal's sexual advances. Erica Aleniak ended up taking the role, leading to speculation that she got it because of her involvement with Seagal. However, these rumors have never been confirmed, and Erica has denied any such thing happening. In an interview, she stated, I've never been assaulted, I've never been raped, and that she believes women should be able to go to work without feeling pressured or uncomfortable. Under Siege not only catapulted Erica's name into the mainstream consciousness, but it also showcased her talent as an actress. Her performance in the movie received praise from critics, with Roger Ebert calling her the most convincing character in the film. It also opened up doors for her to work with other prominent actors and directors in the industry. In 1993, Erica would be cast as Ellie Mae Clampett in The Beverly Hillbillies, a modern spin on the 1962 television show of the same name. The movie follows a family of hillbillies from Arkansas who strike it rich from oil and move to Beverly Hills. Erica's portrayal of Ellie Mae was well received and she once again displayed her comedic chops in the role. In an interview, Erica mentioned that playing Ellie was one of her favorite roles in her entire career. She reveals that she had to work with a dialect coach to perfect the Arkansas drawl and admits that it was challenging, but also a lot of fun. She also mentions that she felt blessed to work with such talented actors on set, including Jim Varney, Diedrich Bader, Cloris Leachman, Leah Thompson, and Lily Tomlin. The Beverly Hillbillies may not have been as successful as Under Siege, but it solidified Erica's status as a versatile actress who could excel in both comedic and action roles. Her on-screen presence and charm continued to captivate audiences. However, amidst her success, Erica also faced personal challenges. In 1993, she experienced a difficult breakup with her former Baywatch co-star, Billy Warlock, which deeply affected her. Additionally, posing for Playboy resulted in criticism and backlash from some male colleagues, causing her to question her place in the industry. Despite these setbacks, Erica's resilience and determination propelled her forward. In 1995, she took on diverse projects starring in the romantic comedy Chasers alongside William McNamara and showcasing her versatility by playing identical twins in the interactive video game Panic in the Park. These roles allowed her to further explore different facets of her talent and solidify her reputation as a versatile actress. During this time, Erica Aleniak also found love with William McNamara and the couple attended various events together, including the Video Software Dealers Association convention in Las Vegas and the opening of Jackie Mason, Politically Incorrect in 1995. Their relationship also didn't last long and they parted ways amicably with Erica remaining optimistic about finding her true love. In 1996, Erica's personal life took a positive turn when she met renowned nutritionist Philip Goglia. The couple fell in love 
and tied the knot in 1998, embarking on a journey of marital bliss. However, their happiness was short-lived as they faced difficulties in their marriage and eventually chose to go their separate ways in 1999. Despite this, Erica's belief in love never wavered and she remained hopeful for a happy future. In the early 2000s, Erica Alenia continued to showcase her versatility as an actress, taking on roles in independent films and TV shows. Her talent and dedication to her craft earned her recognition and respect in the industry. Additionally, in her venture into reality TV, Erica Aleniak made appearances on popular shows like The Real Gilligan's Island in 2005, captivating audiences with her charm and wit. It was during this time that she caught the attention of professional musician Raj Daigal, and their connection blossomed into a beautiful love story. Their relationship was not just limited to romance, but also included a deep sense of shared interests and values. They found solace and support in each other's arms, creating a strong foundation for their future together. In a picturesque private ceremony in Mexico, surrounded by their loved ones, Erica and Rock exchanged heartfelt vows, sealing their commitment to one another. As their love grew, so did their dreams of starting a family. It was a joyous moment when they received the news of Erica's pregnancy later that year. The anticipation and excitement filled their hearts with pure happiness, envisioning a future filled with love and laughter. However, life had a different plan in store for them. Erica's bliss soon turned into heartbreak when she experienced an ectopic pregnancy, a devastating ordeal that required emergency surgery and resulted in a miscarriage. It was a time of immense pain and sorrow, but through it all, Erica and Rock remained united and resilient, finding strength in each other's arms. Their journey continued, and in 2006, Erica Aleniak and Raj Deagle were blessed with the arrival of their daughter, Indiana. The precious gift of parenthood brought them even closer together as they embraced the joys and challenges that came with raising a child. While Erica's love life flourished, she also faced personal challenges. The demanding nature of the entertainment industry took a toll on her, leading to struggles with weight issues. The constant pressure to conform to unrealistic beauty standards inflicted both body image issues and emotional distress upon her. Amidst the scrutiny and judgment from the public and media, Erica remained resilient and focused on her career. In 2006, she made a courageous decision to participate in the fourth season of VH1's reality show, Celebrity Fit Club, where she worked with a team of experts to achieve a healthier lifestyle. Her journey not only inspired her own transformation, but also shed light on the detrimental effects of societal pressure and body shaming. Despite the personal challenges she faced, Erica Aleniak's talent and perseverance continued to shine on screen. In 2006, she made a memorable appearance on VH1's 80s Movie and Music Fest Cafe, captivating both presenters and fans with her insights into her career and the iconic era of the 80s. She also took on the role of a strong and resilient character in the film Devil's Prey, showcasing her versatility as an actress. As Erica started to settle down with her family, the peak of her career started to wane. In 2007, she made the difficult decision to step away from acting and focus on being a mother full-time, prioritizing the upbringing of her beloved daughter, Indiana. This transition period also marked the end of her marriage with Roch, but their shared love for their child remained unshaken. As her daughter grew older, Erica Eleniak returned to the spotlight in 2009 with Imps, a short film directed by Golden Globe nominee Griffin Dunn. She later made appearances on various TV shows and documentaries, including Boone the Bounty Hunter in 2017 and In Search of the Last Action Heroes in 2019. These cameos not only reignited her passion for acting, but also demonstrated her timeless appeal and enduring talent. In recent years, Erica has continued to embrace new challenges and opportunities in both her personal and professional life. 
she was currently seen filming the highly anticipated documentary Lollipop Gang, showcasing her experiences growing up as a child star alongside fellow Hollywood icons. Additionally, she was also involved in the pre-production of Marilyn Monroe Back, a film centered around the legendary actress. In 2020, she made a memorable appearance on The Morning Show, where she discussed her iconic role in the hit TV series Baywatch and reflected on her career journey. As an accomplished actress, mother, and survivor, Erica Aleniak continues to inspire audiences with her resilience, determination, and strength, both on and off screen. For more such videos about beautiful actresses of yesteryear, watch the videos on the end screen.